Hi everybody, Andy Lightbody for the American Trigger Sports Network and James, we're on the floor at SHOT Show 2010. We're going to be talking right now with Clint Smith who is the director and kind of the head instructor for the Thunder Ranch shooting facilities and school out of Oregon. Now for those of you that don't know, he's got quite a set of facilities up there. We're going to talk to him a little bit about it. Clint, thanks for taking the time. Sure. Tell me, who is Thunder Ranch? Um, Thunder Ranch moved to Oregon about five years ago and then we spent the 11 years prior to that uh, in Texas. And the facility is basically teaches firearms and tactics. Uh, and most of our clients are from the private sector, but we do do police and military also. Why would I want to come to your school? What am I going to learn? To be a better hunter, better what shooter? What you're really uh, going to do is the school is defense oriented. Mm -hmm. And primarily the single biggest focus of the school is to teach people not to shoot. We want to make people smart. Uh, I, I, you know, strong is really good, but ultimately in the end, smart is better. Yes. So the school is not mostly about shooting, like we'll say people. The idea is to be smart enough to know how to use the gun, have it safely in your home. And then if you need to defend your family, you do so You're well trained to be able to right. react right. to this. So not unlike some of the other shooting schools from, let's say, the 80s, uh, Jeff Cooper, Dr. Death, those kind of things. Well, where most of those were misnomers. That's what people true. wanted it to be. As you well know, those yeah. were basically the same thing, too. He was looking to teach fundamental and strong fundamental instruction. And we simply carry that lineage forward, you know, because I was the operations guy there for like three years at okay. Gunsight. So, uh, I hold all of them in high regard. And ours is just simply, uh, we're an extension of that and just old guy doing what I try to do best. Do, do you have a specialty? I mean, is it do you, do you teach handguns, shotgun? We uh, teach handguns and what would be called our format since 1983 is called Urban Rifle, which is how to use a rifle. You would know them as basically black guns. Historically, they were called assault rifles. We know that's a misnomer. And there's another misnomer. Yeah, yeah, right, right. yeah. Yes. So, but the deal with it is we just simply call them black guns. Um, and that's really one of our really strong points is teaching those urban applications for mostly personal defense again. Rifle is a much better tool than a handgun, as you well know. So if, it's, it's, yeah, in, the, right, in, right. in the right and well-trained hands, yep, yes, right, they are. Right. So. When people come up, are you, are you one-day class? Is it a week long? No, the what classes is it? are primarily three days. And uh, for example, historically, you know, we've done them in different formats, but this year we run them to help our people because everybody knows the economy is a little tougher right yeah. now. So uh -huh. we run our classes Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That gives people the opportunity. They don't lose as much time for work. But generally, we run the three-day formats, and we run about four classes. I do about 40 classes a year. And, wow. And, um, but I'm kind of retired now. I mean, I only do like 10. A full class for us is 12 people. So mm -hmm. we don't have monster classes. That was going to be my next right. question. We I mean, keep what do you learn people. when you're in a class with 60 other people? Right. Not really, a lot. not very much. Right. right. So the idea is to give that still personal instruction, you know, that people are looking for. Because uh, that's really what it is, is uh, you need to, you know, we laugh about it. It's another one of those misnomers, the hearts and minds concept. But mm -hmm. at the same time, you know, you have an interest in people. They know the difference between, I just want your money. Yeah. Or I'm trying to teach you something that I really don't want you to do. Right. Okay, so. And if somebody will stay with you as a life skill, yeah, too. Right. And, you know, we get a really high return rate. I think once someone comes to us, we have like an 85% return rate on clients. And you know from any kind of business, that's good. <laughs> that's and it's, remarkable. It's just, we yeah. are looking, we, we really care about the people that we have. What, and, are you, you know, so. what are you teaching them? I mean, you, can, I, can I come in and barely know that the brass goes in last or so the pointy end of the barrel goes down? What range? we call a defensive handgun is basically the format. Uh, we don't necessarily go barrel, this is the butt. Yeah. But, you know, we've had people that you have to show them how to load the magazine. Uh, but, you know, well, someone needs to take the time to yeah. do that. You just can't blow it up. Not everybody's high speed. Not everybody's right. an operator. Not everybody's a SWAT. You know, I got a lot of, you know, like... None of I'm us a, were born knowing no, how to load no, a magazine, like, you know, magazine I'm, were we? I'm like, you know, I'm inter just as interested in a housewife who wants to defend her children. As, you know, like cops and I like cops and I teach a lot of them. Yeah. That's not the point. But somewhere you need to start with fundamentals before you can grow. And most of the true applications of it, when we really get down to it, are the application of... Uh, fundamentals, okay, mm -hmm. uh, is what really wins a fight right. if you have to do it, and we'd prefer that you don't, you know, so. Are there advanced classes then that people come back for, or is it yeah, basically... Yeah, there are different levels of instruction. Say, we would have like not one just handgun. curriculum. Right. We have like defensive handgun, and then that we would teach, for example, basic tactics. You know, for example, if you thought you heard a noise in your house, stay behind the bedroom door, dial mm -hmm. 911, I got that. But if your kids are at the other end of the house yelling, mommy or daddy, help, help me, help, help. you're, you're going to go down there. So what we want to do is have a smart person go down the hallway. 
Okay. You know, they have to use and provide illumination. I don't want them pointing, you know, the illumination at their kids. You know, the, the chances of, you know, like, well, yeah. I thought I heard a noise, so I shot down the hallway in the dark. Well, bluntly, that's really stupid. And then it's very expensive, and you know how that goes. Yeah. So. You guys have specialty ammunition, uh, mm -hmm. and you're associated with the Corban and the yes. Glazer Group and things yes. like that. Why did you choose their ammunition over, say, commercially ready ammunition? And, you know, what are they making for you specifically? They make for us what well, we just the Thunder Ranch packaging and the DPX ammunition, which is the, the Barnes Hollow Point. The reason that we like it is because of, of course, they build a quality product. Yes. Uh, and we've all, without being ugly and being forthright, we've been friends for a long time. So they build us a really good quality product that carries our logo. Okay. And the deal with it is, is um, that ammunition is probably the best on the market for defensive applications. Why? Um, because of the DPX load, it has a hollow Explain point. Explain DPX. DPX is a, it's a hollow point. Right. In a truest sense of the word, not again the misnomered version. Okay. It has a heavy solid copper base. For example, our range in Oregon is a lead-free range. We shoot a lead-free range. And we could do it to be politically correct, but we're not. It's our property. We, got, we just do what we So we're we not do. doing it to be green. No, we're I'm doing, doing it, it from because a practical it's smart. Standpoint. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's practical. Okay. And the good thing, like even in DPX, it's a solid copper bullet. It has a heavy base. It has the, I call them sort of wings or the butterflies right. or the petals that pull back. So the idea of blowing it, what most people don't understand about handgun ammunition is if you shoot it like inside your house and shoot rock, that, that oh. handgun ammunition is going to carry a lot farther through than people's perception. Yeah. You know, they go, well, it did just hit the wall and stop because most people think... No, it hit the know, wall and right. went through that one they, and then the next one. Right. And, and they yeah. think a one-dimensional plane, mm -hmm. you know, like I'm looking there and that's where it's going. No, it's not. It's going through four more walls and down into your kid's bedroom. Yeah. So that ammunition, it has a tendency to, um, shall we say, be interrupted by the mediums that it hits. Okay. It's very effective if you're using it to defend yourself. As and your little, as, the, as you said, the flower petals splay out yes. and are going to bleed off energy, right. slow it down, slow right. it down. And that breaks it down. But if I needed something where someone was truly being a threat to me, mm -hmm. the, the petals still have the opportunity to open. They don't mm -hmm. always, but then again, they have the opportunity to open. And then yet the base being solid copper carries it, so I want that penetration. I need to shoot through. And people go, well, if it goes through. If uh, I'm going to shoot to save my life without being ugly or not politically correct, okay? If I'm shooting to save my life, I can't think of anything better than two holes. One in, one in and one out. And a big, and bigger right. one coming out. Because right? I already know that I'm responsible for what comes out the other side, yes, and I take, I take that, 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 that's okay. I got yeah. that. I'm, I, it's just, just like the responsibility of carrying a gun concealed or having a gun in your home. I accept that responsibility, and I try to get my students to accept that responsibility. And then this ammunition helps us to get them to understand that, and yet helps give them a chance if they shoot it inside yeah. their home. So that it, it, it's a very efficient ammo, but it's still doing something for us on the other end of the curve, too. So we don't have to worry about like the deep penetration through walls, like if you'd shoot like 230 ball ammunition like the old military yeah, metal yeah. jacket right yeah jacket so, it, uh, right. so yeah. that and then again like i said i openly admit it uh, we have an amiable relationship based over many years and it's just it's a, a rock solid one. product yeah so clearly well, people would like more information about thunder ranch maybe even getting more information about coming up going through some of your classes where would you like them to go they could go to the the website and it's the normal www right. thunder ranch inc inc Nowadays, if you just put Thunder Ranch in, it comes up, and then .com. So it's www.thunderranchinc.com. Outstanding. Thanks, Thanks for taking the yes, time sir. to talk Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, very interesting, all of the different booths and things like this. But the man brings up a very good point. We're not teaching you that, that you've got to shoot, got to shoot, got to shoot. You know, but if you do have to shoot, it's nice that you're going to know what you have to do if you're ever faced with a life-threatening situation. Take a standby, everybody. We'll be back here with more on the floor. SHOT Show 2010 for the American Trigger Sports Network.